okay, so here's a cool little trick that I do sometimes. Um, it's, it's basically a way for you to edit eyes in your photography to make it sound, you know, to, to look a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. I got a band shot. I was forced to shoot it in, a, you know, like as a JPEG, which if you have the option, always shoot in RAW format. But, you know, the one thing they don't tell you is when you buy a Canon T2i, it's not compatible. The, the CR2, you know, camera RAW 2 format that, you know, uh, Canon uh, T2i's use won't work with a modern, you know, uh, uh, version of Photoshop. You know, I have CS3, but I also have CS5, and I actually had to go through a big deal and download updates just to make my camera raw finally work. But these are JPEGs, so they're kind of compressed. I would have liked to use that, you know, open them up in, uh, you know, bridge instead. But here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this tool, you know, I'll get, I'll get rid of it. It's basically right here. You know, uh, you can hit L, lasso, you know, to get it. If you hold your clicker on these, you know, any of these tools, they have a few options that you can do. You know, I've seen people use magnetic tool where they kind of drag it and it follows it. But, you know, I don't really like doing that just because I kind of, I don't know, kind of got used to using this. You could even try, you know, wand, but I don't know. I'm just getting real good at this. It just seems a little sharper. Um, so if you have the patience, you know, I would say use the lasso tool. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to select as best I can the white portion of his eye. You know, it looks about like that. Okay, so what I did right there was I held shift down and I'm selecting the other portion right now um, as far as, uh, you know, the other white portion of his eye. You know, I'm kind of judging it here. Hopefully this guy wasn't too stoned because his eyes look red as hell. Okay, so I'm holding shift, you know, lets me select this. So now, you know, I got two regions that I selected. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to hit control C. If you're on a Mac, you can, app, you know, hit Apple C. It's basically copy, you know, control V, paste. And now what I got is that region. Everything else is gone, you know, the, the background. So now what I can do is play with this layer right here um, on top of that without permanently messing up my other stuff. Now you can't notice any change because we haven't done anything to this white portion. So let's go ahead and do that. I got the layer selected, you know, uh, in this bottom right corner uh, of basically, you know, this. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. So what I'm doing is, you know, turning the contrast way, way up, you know, in, in the brightness. And, and obviously you don't want him to look like an alien, you know, with glowing eyes. So I'll show you the trick for that. So... You know, that's looking good. Um, I don't like this red at all. You know, we want his eyes to look white. So I'm going to go to maybe, um, there's a couple ways to do this. I would say, uh, you know, replace color. Let's try that. So we're going to select that red. That's really angering me. And then we're going to have the result this white, you know. So basically, you know, we can turn the fuzziness up. So now you see it's kind of disappearing. You know, it's kind of looking a little flat it needs a little characteristic to it so you know we'll brighten it up just a little bit so now if you look at the difference all the red's gone you know uh so that that's good to go so you got that going of course remember your settings save the preset so you can do it to the other eye um which we'll we'll do right now just you know for practice so i'm just going to select you know, as best i can where i think that white is holding shift I'm selecting the other portion. Just dragging that. Okay, there we go. So basically now we got, you know, both portions. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm on the background, copy, paste. So now, you know, once again, I got that, you know, as, as a separate layer. So go to image. Brightness contrast, like we did before, contrast pretty high, kind of judge the whiteness, you know, so it's decent. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do replace color, you know, this red stoned pot smoking looking eye and then kind of boost, you know, my lightness. So, you know, what we got was from, uh, 
you know, I'll, I'll just be more specific with this. So basically, you know, this plugin, you have a before color you pick, you know, and then an after result that you want it to end in. So that looks pretty decent. You know, it's probably pretty close to the other one. So obviously this looks fake. You don't want to just leave it, you know, like this. I mean, if you, uh, you know, have it like that, obviously he's not <laughs> looking too good. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to hit the R tool. Now what the R tool is, is, uh, you know, it's it's got three options. Sharpen, smudge, blur. So I'm going to do blur. You know, I'm going to turn my brush down a little bit because I get a little more, be more, little more specific. So what I'm going to do is just gradually kind of blend it in there. You know, you kind of want it to be sharp so when you zoom out it looks decent. Um, you know, so I'll just do a little bit of that. Um, you know, just kind of judge it. And, you know, once once again, if you mess up, you can hit Control z to undo or Apple-Z. So I'm selecting this other layer. I'll do the same thing over here. You know, just kind of a little bit. Okay, so we're already looking good. I mean, you know, that that's, that's pretty decent. So here's the next part. What we're going to do is we're going to actually take his iris, you know, the, the center of his eye, um, and we're going to select this whole round portion right here. And it's really important, you know, you, you can kind of overlap into the white because um, we're going to make this below it in the layer so the white part will be on top. Um, so I got background selected, copy, paste, you know, I got the eye portion. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to image, you know, and we'll just mess with saturation, see what we can do with this. So let's go ahead and turn the saturation up a little bit. Um, so that, I mean, that's getting more vivid. It's starting to kind of do that bleach out thing that you don't want to happen. So let's go ahead and mess with this. Um, you know, that right there is already looking pretty vivid. Um, so, yeah, that's good. I mean, look, for after, that's that's already characteristics are ridiculous. So let's remember, you know, I'm not going to save a preset, but, you know, hue 0, saturation 81, lightness minus 16. So 81 minus 16, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm already forgetting that number, minus 81, no, 81 minus, ah, whatever the hell, we'll figure it out. Okay, that's somewhat close. So copy, paste, image, saturation. Ooh. Then we got, shit, I already forgot it. Um, was it 81? <laughs> Minus 17, something like that, I think. Um, yeah, that looks okay. You know, if it's a big problem, you could go back and forth and kind of double check to make sure they, uh, you know, kind of fit. Yeah, that one looks a little bit more saturated, so we'll go ahead and match it up. I mean, it might have been the lighting. It might be because I probably just forgot and botched the numbers, but, you know, uh, yeah, that's kind of looking... Looks, still looks a little bit darker. Yeah, that's that's a little bit even. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's looking decent. Um, so it still looks a little alien. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that tool out R, kind of blur the sides. You know, just the portions that look like, obviously you you chop them. Um, make sure a big deal is that. This layer, the eye part, is under, you know, your uh, the the white portion right there, so that you know the white overlaps it, as opposed to uh, some like you know that where it kind of bleeds over. So got that blurring the sides a little bit. You know, the, his iris right there, that black needs to be fixed up. So I'll show you how to do that here in a sec. So I'm gonna blur that up a little, make it blend. Um, you know, in certain tones, like some of those reds, if they anger you, you can easily go, you know, um, you can take image, go to selective color, and then you can go through the, the separate colors that anger you and kind of find your median, which that that even looks awesome. I'll, I'll go with that just to show you kind of the tone. So we'll push up the cyan and lower the magenta. You know, just on the red, we'll do the uh, 
the same thing on the, the other side. So it doesn't look like a friggin' reptile. Okay, selective color, red, boost that, zero magenta. You know, and that, that already looks real different compared to that. No, no, I guess it's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little destructive with this one. This pupil's coming out real crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I can either go to the background, select that, and you could easily use the wand tool, but you know, uh, my tolerance is real high up here. Let me try that again. Um, so, I mean, you, you could use the wand tool if you want to. Uh, but once again, I, I like to use kind of the, you know, uh, lasso kind of thing just because it's a little smoother. Um, I mean, you, you could even, for the pupils, since it's just circular round, do something like that. So, try that. Copy, paste. I'm going to put that layer on top. So now, you know, that, that's kind of crazy. Let's do the R button, kind of blend it. And what I'm going to do is on all of these, we're not going to have them that vibrant. So what I'm going to do since we, we have everything we want, you know, it all looks pretty solid. The pupil on this one's definitely, you know, kind of crazy. So I'm going to lower the ratio on that the, as far as fill and such. So, um, okay, so we, we got... We got this looking pretty decent. I mean, we're not going to leave it like this because it looks crazy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select all the layers. I'm going to hit Control E, which merges them all. So now they're all as one. So I can kind of change them, you know, as I want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to use fill right here. And we're going to kind of blend it. Just, you know, turning down the fill so that it overlays on top of it, you know. Instead of having it 100%, which is visibly, you know, too dramatic and too crazy, we're going to kind of push it in you know, down to, let, let's see, you know, until you actually feel it, it's pretty legitimate. So I'm looking at about, I think it's looking pretty solid at about 53, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and stick with that. I think, you know, 53, yeah, 53 looks pretty good. So, I mean, what I'm going to do now is I'll show you what it looked like before. You know, this is before, this kind of eyes, you know, uh, undoctored, and here's after. So you already got some some pretty intense kind of pushes. If you want to go a little more vague, you can even push it down a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's the basis of editing eyes for photography. And, um, you know, it's definitely worth trying. I mean, look, Christ, look at look how different that is. And when you even, you know, zoom out, it's very visible how m more vibrant, you know, your actual photo looks, you know, with, with eyes that you can visibly see like that. So, yeah, go ahead and try it.